still lovely May at Auto Shrunken Head. It is Ruin Who. And today is actually National Taffy Day. So um, people who are sharing their skeletons, they get some taffy on this day in various flavors, yes. But let's talk a little bit about this day. It is Jamaica's Labor Day today. So I want to celebrate for Jamaica on this day. Yes, happy Labor Day to all my Jamaican friends, Mom. I wish I was celebrating there, to be honest with you. I love Jamaica. I want to go there so much. Um, this day, if you remember, it was just one year ago that it was those tornadoes that hit Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. Do you remember that? That is yeah. on this day one year ago. Yes, it is. So um, I hope those people are doing okay today and um, they didn't suffer too much one year ago on this day. Also, um, a film on this day, May 23rd, confirms that Sarah, the Duchess of York, she was involved in a scandal um, showing that she asked for $40,000 handshake in cash for 500,000 pounds to be paid in return for access to Prince Andrew. So she was selling, she was selling access to the prince, handshaking it, and making a ton of, today is the day that it confirmed that it was actually true. I used to have a roommate, Margo, who I have no idea where she is, that told me she was in boarding school with Sarah, the Duchess of York in Argentina. And um, I totally believe it could be true. Um, and it's kind of funny because um, she said she was a wild thing. She said that Duchess was a lot of fun in, her, in boarding school. So I, I seriously do believe that she was doing this. Um, and she has those two brilliant daughters that wore those hats at the freaking wedding. I know. The apple doesn't fall too far from that tree, I suppose. Anyway, also on this day, it's another day of scandal. It is the day that... Um, under investigation for bribery during his presidency, the former president of South Korea, Ro Mu Hyun, whatever, he committed suicide on this day. So thank you, you are now an angel in our room. Former president of South Korea, I am so sorry that you ended your life that way, whatever way it was, but he was found out that he was accepting bribes during his presidency, so. What would you do? What would you do if you were in that situation, do you think? like? Found guilty, would you want to be executed by someone else or execute yourself? What would you, somebody. What would you want to do? I mean, um, to Switzerland. Yeah, get out, right? Build a tunnel. Uh, yeah. Well, well, this one. Um, Go to Tahiti. Who knows this? Fred Norris of the Howard Stern Show. I used to know Fred Norris. Wow. He legally changed his name on this day to Eric. Like, like, Why? like Fred to Eric. I, I knew Fred Norris. I never knew Eric. Wow. Exactly. The Kids Are All Right premiered on this day. Best so, show ever! Yeah, that, that is, today is the anniversary of The Kids Are All Right. Rocker Tom Petty, he filed Chapter 11. I mean, oh, on this wow. day. What? Yeah, what? It, it was a while back, but you know, yeah. Tom Petty, he, yeah, he's yeah. even in that Chapter 11 yeah. chapter. Uh, the Supreme Court refused to hear appeals of Watergate wrongdoers. H.R. Haldeman, John Ehrlichman, and John Mitchell on this day. They were like, you know, all I remember of Watergate, I had a broken leg and I was so upset because we didn't have all those zillion channels on cable television. We only had those few. I was sitting with my broken leg, I was a little kid, and all I remember is hearing, no recollection, no recollection, no recollection. That's all I think. I think of Watergate, I think yeah, yeah. no recollection. That's yeah. all they ever said. Yeah. That's it, that's yeah. all I remember. I, I, it was the only television on, every dumb channel. Yeah. So, you know, screw you, Watergate. Yeah. I don't even care. No recollection. The rock group Iron Butterfly in a God and a Vita disbanded on this day. Oh, no. This was the last day of In a God and a Vita, so they are a, technically an angel in our room today and a butterfly. So, we have the Iron Butterfly with us today. The Grateful Dead in England 
their first performance outside the U.S. was on this date in history. Wow. They were trucking, all right. They trucked all the way over to meet that Duchess of York. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't shake her hand, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the Who released the rock opera Tommy on this day. Yay! <laughs> Tommy, can you hear me? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I know. Tommy, such a such a amazing piece of work. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it, it came out on this day. Um, the Beatles opened the second Apple Boutique at 161 New Kings Road in London. Now they're taken over by Vivian Westwood, I suppose, because she's got the shops on Kings Road. I don't know, but like Apple Boutiques, what do you think they were selling? Um, Apples. I doubt that. I, they were selling Beatles paraphernalia, right? I wonder what was going on in the back room. Um, they also, on this day, the Beatles released Paperback Writer. That used to be one of my friend's favorite Beatles song. That was, every time I hear it, I think of that person. The New York Public Library building at Fifth Avenue on this day in history was dedicated by President Taft. Um, the, the best thing I ever saw at that library, you know how it has the two lions in the front? Yeah. When it was the Subway series, they had one with a Mets hat and one with the Yankees hat. Aww. And that is my favorite thing about the New York Public Library. Was it because you can't even take books out of that library. It's not right. Yeah. I know, you have to go there and just sit and, yeah. and then leave. I, I don't like that. But I did love the Met and the Yankee lion. That was my favorite thing about that library. If anybody cares, this is a very important day. Our, our very, very, very wonderful piece, I think, a founding father. Is Benjamin Franklin considered one of the founding fathers of our country? Yes. Yay! He, he invented only everything, but today in history, he actually invented bifocals. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah. I know. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That's the light. That must have, didn't he invent the light? Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Yeah. He, he did with the kite, right? Yeah. Right. I love you, Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Thank you for visiting me like that. It was that light bulb over there blew out. That's all right. We probably don't need it anyway. Um, King Henry VIII and Catherine of Aragon, their marriage was declared null and void on this day. If, if that, does that mean, oh my, who has just appeared? Woo! Speaking of Thank Henry VIII, yeah. yeah. you won't get on fucking Henry VIII. And I almost forgot you were coming, you know. You, you see? Better late than never. I'm very dependable. I know you are. That's fine. How are you? Oh. Alan Merrill, my favorite bro. James Adams. Uh, rock and roll. Who? James Adams. Oh, he's right there. There he is. <laughs> Hi, James. <laughs> Small world. Isn't it? You just said it. But so you walked in on Henry VIII. Is this the first divorce? Henry and Catherine. She was the one that got out free. Yeah. It was null and void. How did that happen? How, how did she? I'm going to be Catherine he was, he was learning. How did she keep I like that. She's amazing. I love her. Joan of Arc is captured on this day and sold to the British. Oh, mm. that's not so good. No. no. No, but she was awesome also. Birthdays today, it's Jewel's birthday. Have nice. you ever sang with Jewel? No, but I love her song. Yeah, she's, yeah. I met her mother once. Really? Her mother was so cool. Uh -huh. Really nice lady. Helena Bonham Carter's birthday is today. People Yay! tell me that I get, I get her a lot. Mrs. Timber. Yes, exactly. She's, she's adorable. Karen Duffy, who I also know. I know all these birthdays today, it's so bizarre. Duff, you remember Duff from MTV? Yeah. She lives in it not far from me. I, I, she's really a wonderful girl. Happy birthday, Karen Duffy. Yeah. And Drew Carey's birthday is today. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, Rosemary Clooney. Uh, so, yeah, my mom's contemporary. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's her birthday okay. today. And Angels in the Room is Ian Copeland. Mm. For him, there would be no police, right? That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Woo! It's kind of interesting yes, that yeah, he's man. the policeman. Yeah. Rocky Graziano, angel in the room today. Yeah, yes. Man. He was Mr. Rock and Roll. Did you know that? I did not know that. I thought that was you. Well, I guess he's, you know, I'm number two. Oh. But no. I'm Avis. We try harder. <laughs> oh, is that right? Not, what, is Hertz number one? Yeah, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. And we just had Hertz action. Hurts when you try harder. Oh, it does, right? <laughs> yeah. It's John D. Rockefeller's 
angel. He passed away on this day. Um, but didn't he die in the most pleasant way? It's had sex? Yes. Did he? I had with with Paris Hilton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That would be funny. I know. Yeah. time machine, though. Yeah. What, what? Tell us. But no, my, my friend Mark Sandman from the group Morphine, right. we were having a conversation in 1996 about the best way to die. And of course, there was the Rockefeller exit or being on stage. Six months later, Mark Sandman died on stage in Italy. Oh my God. So he got his wish. Wow. He's an angel. Yep. There you go. Yeah. With Made us some right wonderful now. music. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, Rockefeller made some wonderful <laughs> accomplishments in this town, too. Do, who was he in bed with? I'm I don't just curious. know, but probably young It wasn't Mrs. Mrs. Rockefeller. No. No, exactly. <laughs> he wouldn't be having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleepy, dear. Right, exactly. <laughs> didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't he purchase the land for the UN? Yeah, I think he did. I think so yeah. too, right? Yeah, it's he, because of him that we have the UN here, right? Isn't that great? Would you rather have it in Washington, in traffic things? I guess so. I, I mean, does the UN really matter? Like today coming down here, I thought I was going to have a heart attack because the traffic oh, was so bad. Oh, how many times a week does that happen to you? Pretty often <laughs> lately. There's always, there's always been something on that yeah. east side drive. There's like cleaning or there's an accident or something. And it floods a lot. Yeah, it's, there's always something. And Henrik Ibsen, great author, passed away yes. on this day. Another angel. Yeah. And then this one is kind of weird. I'm sure you don't know who he is if you didn't cheat. But does anyone know who Simon Monjack is? Never heard of him. He's an angel in this room. Very interesting character. He is Brittany Murphy's husband. Do you remember she died yeah. in that crazy very way? Young. Yeah. And then very shortly yeah. after her husband died, That's the exact strange. same way. He is the one that died on That's this day really in history. Great. Yes. I, I, um, I met Brittany Murphy once. Uh, she was one she of my was favorites. A sweetheart. She I was, love her. We were in a taxi line in Paris and she said, You're my favorite trivia question. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that take that as an insult or a compliment. She's so cute though. I love I know, her. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so we're gonna include Brittany as a as a Angel in this room too, because without her, he would never be on the list. Okay. So, um, that's, yeah. So today's May twenty third, and it is National Taffy Day. Do you like taffy? taffy? Oh, go crazy! Mm -hmm. And um, and um, we're gonna be back with validation and a lot of fun people as the day unfolds. Yes. Woo!